On a hot summer day downtown, expect lots of this. Splashing around. It was cold. The Crown Fountain's faces staring down on crowds, spitting every few minutes on eagerly waiting kids. That's what happens outside the fountain. But now we're showing you what makes the fun possible, going where the water disappears underground. We're actually standing underneath the north tower of Crown Fountain. The water is flowing down from above us at Crown Fountain, down through these large pipes, through this filter unit, and then it is being drawn through this pumping unit that you see right here. Millennium Park Foundation Executive Director Scott Stewart says along the way the water is chlorinated and pH balanced. Simply because people play in the Crown Fountain. We lose water through evaporation and, and drips and drain, and this fresh water supply tops off the total amount of water every day. Now we are inside of Crown Fountain. And unlike the constant rumbling outside the towers, there's serenity within. Little noise with water streaming down the sides from 60 feet up. This supplies the face with the spitting. These are actually the LED screens that do the face projecting. Each level is a level to check and do the maintenance on each of the LED panels. All right, now we're going to the control room. This is the preview of the next set of faces that will be coming up on the South Tower and the North Tower. This computer system is focused on rotating through these 1,000 faces. These faces were hand selected based upon a large pool of volunteers. They're all Chicagoans. They're hand selected by the artist, Jaume Plenza. You'll never see the same face on the North and the South Towers. However, no matter what the faces are on the North and the South Towers, they both spit at the same time. Keeping Chicago cool all summer long. In Millennium Park, Jesse Kirsch, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.